time at United I was quite young coming through. Um, but it was evident straight away that even as a 16 year old he knew, he knew everyone's name. Um, and he demanded high standards right throughout the club. So I think that's something that stuck with me through through my career. Um, how he how he treated people as well. No, I don't think um, it'll probably sink in until it's one of them when we're all, all done playing and, and look back on it. Um, that was a, a huge achievement for us just to, to reach the Euros, um, having not done it as a country for, for such a long time. But once we got there, we just wanted to, to enjoy ourselves and, and show the rest of Europe the way we play um, football as a nation. And uh, I think we did that and succeeded everyone's expectations. I'd like to think I'd, I'd stay in the game um, in some in some form with all the knowledge and experiences that I'll, uh, I'll have gathered through my career. Roy Keane, as a, as a kid, as, as Keane's captain, he was someone I loved watching. Um, you know, his aggression and, and passion on the pitch and, you know, how good he was as a footballer, I think, you know, perhaps went underrated um, because of you know, the, the other aspects he had to his game, but yeah, he was someone I really enjoyed watching as, as, a, as a lad growing up. Disbelief, to be honest. Um, I think just to get to a, an FA Cup final in the first place was, you know, a huge achievement for, for myself and, and Hull City at the, at the time. And um, yeah, to go one step further and, and score is again one of those moments I think I'll, I'll look back on. Um, you know, and watch the clips and, and treasure. I think just to to enjoy it, we all get into the game because we, we enjoy it and, and love playing. Um, and I think just to, to soak up every bit of information and, and knowledge that's that's passed on to you, whether you to practice more or, or how you'll craft yourself off the pitch, I think, you know, every bit of information you, you give, you, you need to soak it up and, um, you know, take it with you throughout your career. His leadership, his winning mentality that he's, he's had throughout his career. You know, you can see it daily the way the way he works, um, be it in the gym or, or on the training pitch, and you know the, the demands he brings on everybody else. An awful lot of, of really good centre halves. Um, I think. Didn't see him play an awful lot, but from what I've, the clips I've seen and you know the, the stories have been told, I think you know Paul McGrath would be someone that I'd, I'd really love to play with. I'm terrified of cats. There's a few good ones out there at the moment. Harry Kane certainly. Certainly up there, the, the amount of goals he scores um, for the past three or four years is, is quite incredible to, to be that consistent. In the time at Hull in the, the Premier League, we played a, a three at the back. And I found myself in the right-hand side of the pitch and towards the you know, right full-back position quite a bit. And I remember playing Chelsea at home and Hazard was playing. and. You know, I didn't really get a kick for 75 minutes before the gaffer took me off. No great reason in particular. Um, you know, squad numbers get changed every year and five was available and it's a, a number I've been at, at Hull and with Wales as well, so yeah, that, was, that was the only reason. <laughs> I won't be performing it again. Once is enough. Um, hey, chubby checker, let's twist again. Yeah, so uh, I stood up and sang that and, and had a little dance. That was quite good, to be honest. Um, coming through at, at United in the academy, you know, they were always checking how you, you were doing at school. And they, yeah, they, they put the fear of God in you to, to behave and, and do well, because if you weren't doing well, then you know, you. You, you love a football and training every day might be taken away from you, so yeah, that's quite, quite well behaved.